We're going to have Susan Perry Nolte come up from McLaren. Susan? I know she's here. I am here. She is here. Good morning. I can't believe she's making me do this without coffee. <laughs> but I promise. Fair is fair. <laughs> yeah. I promise that when coffee comes, we'll take a break because I need it as much as you guys do. Um, I just want to give you a quick update on some things that have been happening over at McLaren Lapeer Region since the last time that I've been here and we spoke. And you probably have read about a few things in the paper. Um, we recently acquired uh, Carmanos uh, Cancer Institute, which many of you know that brand is very strong um, brand in the Southeast Michigan, Detroit area. And we um, are partnering with them to bring the Carmanos brand to Lapeer Region. So our cancer center um, somewhere down the line will be uh, transformed into a, a Carmanos Community Cancer Center. We are extremely excited about that because it brings a whole level of cancer uh, care, a whole network of physicians, and a lot of clinical trials that we as a community cancer center would not be able to provide. And so um, look for that. It's coming quickly. Uh, we, our cancer center just received an award, um, one of 74 cancer centers in the entire nation that received award from the American College of um, Oncology Surgeons. And that really says something for the cancer center and the cancer care we bring here to McLaren. But I wanted to let you know that that was something that was coming. Something that's here already is um, our verification. Is this the little thing I can do? This, okay. Our verification as a level two trauma center. And I wanna explain a little bit of that to you and I wanna to explain to you what is a trauma center and why is that so critical in a community. I don't think, um, you know, a lot of people move to a community because of the healthcare that's, because there's a healthcare facility either in the community or nearby. And we realize that and so we want to make sure that we keep um, improving and making strides to bring the best care that we can. The level two trauma center, what is trauma? It's injury with, a for, with force and it is extreme in young, it can be extreme in old, and it is often um, affiliated with drugs and alcohol. In Lapeer, what we see is a lot of motor vehicle crashes, tons. Um, falls, sports injuries. We recently had a, um, a uh, workplace injury. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Um, trauma is the leading cause of death for persons age uh, 1 through 44 and the third leading cause of death for all age groups. A lot of people don't realize that. Why do we want to become a trauma center? Um, because it's our commitment, as I mentioned earlier, to bring the highest level of, of care that we can to you. Um, if you look at where there are other trauma centers in the area, Hurley is 24 miles away, Flint is 25 miles away, you want to go down to Beaumont, it's 42 uh, miles away. Why is that important? Because in the first hour of treatment, it's the most critical to get you to a facility that can accommodate your needs within the first hour, we call that the golden hour, your chance of survival increases exponentially. And so if you look at the average time for the EMS um, to be at the scene, not to get there, but to be at the scene, to do what they need to do, to get you to a facility, unless you're injured, in the western border of Lapeer County, um, be bypassing us as a hospital will um, result in a loss of that golden hour, that real important critical time for the patient every time. So we felt 
a real obligation and commitment that we needed to do this. Um, there are different levels of trauma care. We're a level two. Level one is the highest. And each level depends on the type of services that you offer, what are your capabilities, what resources do you have. So we had to go through a very rigorous process um, with the American College of Surgeons um, Committee on Trauma. They're the ones that verify us. And it took us from December, from um, the, uh, 2010 when we made the decision to, to our verification date in June of 2013. So it was a huge process. It was getting, building the program, getting the right surgeons in place, getting the right um, nurses certified in trauma care. <clears throat> All of that for our designation. So what do we have available? What does that mean? Doesn't mean that we're just there to provide trauma care, but because of that designation, we now have neurosurgery, which we never had. We now have, oh, so we have a neurosurgeon on staff. We have orthopedic trauma services, so um, if you needed that. We have plastic and reconstructive services. Um, we have nurses, as I mentioned, that are trained. Uh, State-of-the-art equipment, so a lot of equipment was purchased. We have a brain lab for our neurosurgeon to do brain surgery. All of that, again, because we felt the commitment and the obligation to the community to make sure that our services were the best, top-notch that we could possibly provide to the community. We're really proud of the Trauma Center. I just want to tell you a little story, um, just for a real quick minute. Um, about three weeks ago, we had a level one trauma come in to our um, emergent room, to the trauma center. And actually, it was a workplace uh, um, injury, a workplace accident, where a gentleman had a forklift drop on him, fell on him. We, um, every injury, every trauma is, um, we take a look at it and we assign a level to it. So, of course, level one, his chance of survival was 1%. He had multiple internal injuries. He was bleeding internally. He had ruptured his aorta, which if anybody knows anatomy, that's a pretty important part of your body because it carries blood throughout your body. Um, he had broken one of, surprisingly, only one leg and one arm, but it was shattered in a number of places. His blood pressure was so low at one point, it did not even register. That's how critical this gentleman was. He came in, he went first to a small critical access hospital near his work, and they transferred him he rolled in the emergency department there, and they said, get him to McLaren Lapeer Region. He came into our trauma center. It gives me chills because... Um, and we, quite frankly, weren't sure what was going to happen to this gentleman. Um, we immediately did surgery, and he was in our facility for about 60 days and was transferred to Mary Freebed in Grand Rapids for rehabilitation and is now at home playing Uno with his children. His wife and mother and father were there with him by his side, obviously, the entire time, and we made accommodation for them to stay at the hospital so they were close by because we had no clue what was going to happen. But that's the level of care that we are now able to provide to the citizens of Lapeer County and surrounding community, and we're proud of that. And we are proud that this man, we had, um, when he left the hospital that day, about 50 employees lined the hallway and just cheered because so many of us were so in, in part of this gentleman's recovery and he is doing amazing, and I, every time I see him, I get choked up. 
It's pretty amazing. That's why we have a level two trauma center here in Lapeer. So, um, we are this year in your packet. I put a few things, and I'll, I know I'm over time, but I figured I could take that because the coffee's still not here. Um, and I'll at least keep you awake a little bit here. Um, at any rate, in your packet, there is some information on the trauma center. But this year, our golf outing, charity golf outing, is uh, going to, the proceeds will go to the trauma center. And to help make other improvements, to help purchase, to do whatever equipment, to do whatever. We were recently at, at both Lapeer High Schools. Through the trauma center, we have a distracted driving simulator. It's like, it's, they don't like to call it a video game, but I'm here to tell you, it's like a video game. And um, we put the kids on to the, the simulator, and they drive and they text, and it's amazing what happens with that. It's a very cool, if anybody's interested in bringing that to their workplace, um, we're happy to do that. It's, it's, it's a nice way to show people that what happens when you text and drive. Um, at any rate, if anyone is interested in sponsoring the golf outing, we're offering a way to do that for businesses, a $50 contribution, and you uh, can be a sponsor for this year's golf outing. There's a flyer in your packet that speaks to that. Is there, are there any questions? Comments? Okay, thank you.